Hi, I'm Mikey Sklar, and this is the Yahtzee 5 temperature controller. I want to show you how to use this device. This is the temperature probe. Notice it already comes hooked up when you buy an assembled unit, so we don't have to worry about where the connectors go, although it is labeled on here. Um, on the bottom of the unit, to power it up, there is a 9-volt power supply. You can see this comes with a little barrel jack. This powers the circuit itself, so that plugs right here at the end. There is also a large female receptacle. Um, this is for whatever appliance you're working with, whether it be a chest freezer or a crock pot or a light bulb, that plugs right in it here. And finally, there's this little laptop cable. This AC plug here goes right into the wall outlet, and this brings AC into the circuit. So please plug them in that order. Barrel jack, appliance, AC outlet. Now, for setting the temp desired temperature on this device, do the following things. Up button will raise the temperature. Down button will lower the temperature, and it will loop around if you're at the ends. If you hold both buttons, it'll save it, so you can unplug the unit and it will remember that store temperature later. Finally, there are two switches at the top here, a heat and a cool switch, as well as a Fahrenheit or Celsius switch. So Fahrenheit Celsius just changes the display that you're seeing, um, and the heat cool is depending what you want to do. If you plug in a heating device, set it to heat. If you plug in a cooling device, set it to cool. Typically, that's the way it's used. One new feature with the Yahtzee 5 is it comes with a bag. So what's kind of nice about this is all the cables can hang out and you have a little ring that can just sit on a hook so it's easy to store this unit on a wall just put a nail in. One option I'd like to mention just because it is an add-on you can buy these little Bluetooth modules from Amazon. If you'd like to use those with your Yahtzee 5 for data logging you can go ahead and just insert the Bluetooth module just like this and you'll be able to transmit Bluetooth 9600 right to your laptop and be able to save that data later to inspect how your ferments are going. Thank you.